I'm Shanti. Welcome to 13th of September's Kali Blessing. Supreme Father says, May you be completely pure and your thoughts be those of a pure embodiment of knowledge and an embodiment of power. So in order to become equal to the Father, make your foundation of purity strong. To make a vow of celibacy as a foundation is a common thing. God is saying even in Brahma Kumaris and even people who are out of Brahma Kumaris, they also follow the foundation of celibacy. So do not be happy with just that. It's become very common in the spiritual realm. Underline even more than even more that you must have the purity in your vision, the way we look at people and we look at the way we have an understanding about their behavior, have an understanding about the way they do things and attitude. So purity in your vision and purity in the attitude towards people and situation. Together with that, let your thoughts be those of a pure embodiment of knowledge and an embodiment of power. So I have to use or create thoughts during situations as an embodiment of knowledge. That means if some situation comes, I have to use the power of knowledge which God has given me to stabilize my mind, whether it's the point of drama, whether it's the point of nothing new, whether it's the point of being a, a forgiving soul, whether it's the point of being an ancestral soul, whether it's the point of being someone who's an embodiment of powers, like God says, like tolerance, patience, then adjustment with souls, so there is still a lot of weakness in your thoughts, God says. That means the level of purity of your thoughts are not exactly at that level yet. Finish all of that weakness and you will then be said to be a completely pure soul. Om Shanti.